guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to go over some motivational tips because this is Motivation Monday. And the tip that I wanted to go over today was how to be present. Now, I learned how to be present when I was in nursing school because being in nursing school, I had to experience one of the most bizarre sort of um, things that I had to like experience. So essentially, I've always been a very caring, generous, loving, you know, type of person that wants to listen to everybody, help people, you know, learning a profession where I will be able to be all that. However, to get through nursing school, I never had to be more selfish with my time, energy, and resources than ever before. So it was sort of like, like this like weird limbo period where I had all of these, you know, things that I wanted to do and types of persons that I wanted to be. And I was so close to doing it. But in order to get there, I had to be somebody completely different. And so it brought on sort of a lot of anxiety or, you know, feelings of, you know, wondering if my relationships or, you know, everything else that I couldn't pay attention to would just fall apart. One thing that I noticed was that when I was having these periods of a lot of anxiety, inability to focus, or wondering if everything was just going to completely fall apart, <laughs> I realized that if I just became present, that it would sort of dissolve all of those feelings. So when I would have um, the fear that something would happen to my family because I wasn't able to attend to them like I usually did, or something would happen to my friendships because I, again, I wasn't able to attend to them like I used to, I would just get present. And in this presence, I would just I would just take a deep breath in and then I would think about all of the things that were around me in my very immediate current surrounding at this exact moment that I was grateful for. You know, I, I would start off very small. I'm grateful for the floor that's holding me that hasn't fallen yet. I'm grateful for the roof above my head. I'm grateful for the counters. I'm grateful for the people that I do have in my life that are supporting me. I'm grateful for this opportunity to give to myself, something that I'd never really done before. And I'm grateful for this opportunity to stimulate my mind and to create a better future for myself. So becoming present is really as simple as that. Taking a deep breath in, noticing what's around you, and particularly noticing what's around you that's good. You want to make sure that you're being grateful for everything around you. I really do believe that when you're grateful for what you have, when you take care of what you have, that more will be given to you. It's definitely, you know, been what I've noticed in my life. You know, the more I've given and the more I'm grateful for what I have, the more things are given to me or the more opportunities open up. So I really hope that you also notice the same thing. What this also does is it, as long as you're, you know, taking technology away for a little bit, you know, put your phone away for 10, 15 minutes and do this exercise. And then what you'll notice is that when you do approach people, they'll notice that all of you is there, that you're able to listen and be receptive and understand what they're saying. And it'll, I promise you, it'll open up different doors for you that potentially weren't there before. So all right guys, take the, the five minutes that this takes, do this exercise, become present. I promise you, you're gonna feel so much better after you do it. I really hope that you like this tip for Motivation Monday. If you like these videos and you wanna see more, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please post a comment, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Next week, we're going to be talking about new nurse anxiety, and I'm gonna give you my top three tips on how to alleviate new nurse anxiety. All right, guys, I will see you then. Love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students 
friends just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining it, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.